What's up guys? Uh, it's M Goldstein here again. I'd like to give you a quick update on uh, the bow with uh, PVC riser and limbs. But today um, I would like to discuss a couple of things that I will add to this bow. Uh, a couple of things that will turn this into a a fishing unit and hopefully a hunting unit the bow is actually done and I don't know whether I should give you a small glimpse but as you see there it is behind me there didn't paint it yet actually you know what since we're here I'm gonna show it to you so here we go I changed the bolts put thicker bolts in it's done they're all sitting in place I'm not gonna cover those holes because for sure now and then when I travel I uh, gonna use it as a takedown because this has the purpose of takedown and just for you to look at the error rest I'm gonna make uh, some kind of a whisker biscuit rest that uh, I will implement onto this rest uh, made out of a PVC pipe toothbrushes which is gonna be for bow fishing this string is a uh, uh, I believe a nylon string I took three strains I did a very simple knot there and as you see I did a string serving which I'm gonna show you how I did it actually it's one thing that I made also in a very simple way but effective so I'd like to give you a couple of details on how I do my things here as simple as possible um, and uh, I'm not going to string it up today it's going to be in the next video so number one this is a fiberglass rod that I modified and I'm going to turn this into a fishing tip so to say I'm uh, gonna file two flat edges here and I'm gonna add two hooks by the way this uh, is removable um, if you're interested to know how the winding in there is done uh, I can answer that as well just post your questions into the comment section so this is number one and obviously I have to somehow have this arrow grabbed by something. This is a string that uh, is connected to a piece of PVC. It's a couple of layers of PVC and this is how it's shaped. And uh, what you do is you take your string, you connect it, make a knot, slip it through there, and there you go. You have it connected. Just take it in there. And actually it will never stand uh, in your way. As you can see, this slips back and forth pretty easy without any problems. And... Uh, it fits snug because you actually can make it according to the size of your arrow. Um, at the end here, instead of uh, putting a screw, I'll do something different, which is literally uh, a small aluminium ring covered with cellar tape and glued on with uh, super glue. So instead of hitting the arrow and breaking the screw off, it will simply slide on top and stay stuck there. So at the moment it's a bottle. I'm uh, I'm thinking about to make a to make a reel from simple wheels, something similar to the AMS retriever. Whether it's gonna work, I don't know. But unless you try, you'll never find out whether it'll be a success. Now, since we are going on low budget, by the way, just to come uh, to the string server. This is just a thread roll from any thread. There are some you can take them apart. 
cut it a bit shorter. This is uh, PVC. You bend it the other way around so you got the round groove on the outside. And what you do, you drill a hole slightly smaller than the screw you're going to fit in there. Why? Um, let me see if I have pliers here. So here's the trick. Right now it's quite a snug fit as you can see. And as soon as I loosen this screw, the pressure is gone and I literally can just pull. So you can uh, adapt the pressure of this small roll, there's a small serving roll, uh, to your desired depth and strength. Um, and yeah, it does, it does a great job and as I say, it costs me literally nothing, it's leftovers. Now, another interesting thing is I want to attach a laser sight to my, uh, my bow, which was originally one of those pens with batteries in there and a button. And obviously I need to have the possibility to um, which is something like that, you attach it to your uh, riser and you got those buttons and automatically the laser lights up. So what will happen is I made a modification. I took a simple 10 euro laser and as you can see on the inside I connected one cable, I soldered one cable to the center feather and the other connector is actually where the, where the screw winding is and soldered the other one to that part. Now just for demonstration purposes I, uh, uh, I, I covered the button to hold it down and uh, let me see if I'm going to manage to do that. There you go. So now, since uh, I killed the connector over there, I have the ability to activate the laser. And this is a green laser, it, it breaks through water. And since I've never been bow fishing, um, this will simplify my life because once it is uh, sighted in, which I will show you later on also how I'm going to do that, this will really help me to break through water and shoot fish where it's actually based on the water. Now this, um, I'm planning to fit into a PVC pipe. The batteries will slip into a separate PVC pipe. Uh, I will show you how the wiring is done. Actually this ring here is separated with the plastic and one of them gets connected to the outside edge. The battery gets connected to the center and then literally this button here will activate the laser. I have to check because if the connection's not good enough uh, conductive wise I may lose some strength of the laser. If that's the case I'm just going to connect those to uh, a V-shaped piece of PVC that will act like a spring and I will just have them connect to each other straight away because I'm not willing to take any loss of uh, power because it has to penetrate also water during the daytime which this laser does. So this is where we're standing at the moment. Um, so far so good. There is more to come. In the next video I'm gonna string um, the recurve bow that I made with the PVC riser, I'm going to string it up and I'm going to fire a couple of arrows. By the way, it's about 40-42 pounds at uh, between 26-28 inches. can draw it up to 28 inches. And uh, also going to explain how I actually filled those gaps 
for it not to collapse because it did the first time and it drove me to bloody hell. I had to reheat the whole thing and I'm going to talk about that in the next video. Thank you very much. So far so good and I'll see you soon. Take care.